Are celebrities seeing something that we aren't seeing? They're seeing ways to build charitable organization and build legacy and generational wealth and build empires, perhaps that we're not seeing. Today, we're gonna to go over five celebrities that you didn't know are big time franchise owners are doing great things in the business world. As far as celebrities go, one of my favorites over the years has been John Wayne. Ever since I was a little guy, and even still, he still holds a place in my heart for me. And John was able to start businesses and succeed later in his life as well. But as far as stardom goes, it starts to fade for most people. They don't always have that top placement and top billing. So they have to look for other things. And that's a challenge for them to figure out where their next income is going to come from. While celebrities often make massive revenues at the peak of their careers, they never know when their star will fade and their earnings will plummet. Those who are smart look to business options, which will give them steady income well after they're out of the spotlight. So those that are taking their earnings seriously while they can are using it to leverage that and putting it into things like real estate and franchising and businesses that will help them so long after that star is gone, they're able to succeed even bigger. And we're gonna explore some of those right now. The first one on our list is Shaq. While 60% of the NBA players go broke after the end of their career, Shaquille O'Neal, owns a total of 50 brands and is worth over $400 million. He owns 155 Five Guys locations, 17 Auntie Anne's, 40 24-hour fitness gyms, and 150 car washes, and many, many others. He's built that empire. He's having a great time having others employed within his organization. Just think of all the people that he employs now and all the jobs he's brought to the economy because he's built that empire. Second one on our list is Drew Brees. Drew Brees owns over 100 locations for various restaurants like Jimmy John's, Dunkin' Donuts, Walk-On's Bistro and Bar, and recently has returned to his athletic background and opened up a stretch zone in New Orleans to help people with something he's passionate about, health and fitness. So one of the things about franchising in that world is you can work on things that you're passionate about. There's an area for anybody and everybody to find an interest where you can employ people and enjoy your business. Third celebrity is Gene Simmons. Even while he was on tour, Gene Simmons of KISS opened up a rock and roll themed restaurant called Rock and Brew. And after establishing a successful business model, so far they've successfully opened up 17 locations. So what Gene has done is actually built a franchise organization. So now he can franchise his business and allow others to enjoy his dream of getting the word out in this wonderful new restaurant that he's built. Okay, before we go into number four, if you'll stay to the end of this video, I will show you how you can start your own franchise. Number four on our list is Venus Williams. Venus Williams, this tennis star, is involved with many charitable and entrepreneurial endeavors, including owning five Jamba Juice restaurants in the Washington, D.C. area. Each of these is estimated to do $700,000 per year in sales, a nice cash cow for a retired athlete. What this means to her is something special because she can give back those charitable donations from the proceeds of these franchises. So one of the things that franchising does so well, it gives back to the community. It allows charitable organizations to thrive because of the donations nations and because of the cash that it produces. Number five on our list is Rick Ross. Six-time Grammy-nominated rapper Rick Ross still makes music but reportedly owns 25 Wingstop locations on the side. Some of these he has gifted to his children, starting that legacy of generational wealth for his family. One of the most important things for especially people my age and should be for anybody is to build that legacy, build something to leave behind so that they remember you by. Rick Ross is gonna be remembered a lot more from his rap music and his business than perhaps anything else. Just like I promised before, here it is. What I've found over the years is that anyone can do it if they put their right mind to it and get the right help. You don't have to be a star to build franchise income. There are many ways to take control of your financial future by getting into franchising at any level. For example, 
See this little house right here, it might be valued at somewhere between 250,000 to maybe 500,000, who knows, depending on the area. But if you can buy this house and you can qualify for that, in many cases, you can also qualify for a franchise business and get even a better return than what you would have on your house. If you're interested in any part of this, click the link below and one of the members of my team will be in touch with you and show you exactly what you need to get started in the world of franchising. And it's not that difficult. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and check out the next video.